Hi and welcome. This is a quick tour of Tower for Mac. Let's start with the services view. If you have an account on GitHub, Bitbucket, GitLab or Visual Studio, you should connect it with Tower here. You get a listing of all your repositories in these accounts. With the clone button, you can download a repository to your default cloning directory, which you can change in Tower's preferences. This makes cloning a matter of just a single click. And you can also easily create a new repository right in your account. The repositories view shows all of your local repository bookmarks. Adding an existing repo from your local disk is easy. Just drag and drop it from Finder. And of course, you can create folders to organize your bookmarks. Let's open a local repository for working. You can simply double click it here, or you can use the quick open dialog. Press Command Shift O, or the button in the toolbar, and then start typing any part of a repository's name. That's it. This is Tower's working copy view. Here's where you see all of your current modifications in your project. Select the file to see a diff of the exact changes. To stage changes for the next commit, you can simply hit the spacebar or click the status checkbox. If you want to stage or discard only parts of the changes, either select individual lines here in the line numbers column or stage a whole chunk. To actually make a new commit, you can simply enter a message and confirm. You can switch between a couple of view options here. You can have the items displayed in a tree structure, either including even non-modified files or only the ones that are currently changed. The history view shows you the commit log of your project. If you only want to see the history of a specific branch or tag, simply select that item in the sidebar. You can also choose your favorite view options here. The right side here shows the details of the selected commit in the list. You can expand any change here to see the diff or use your favorite external diff tool. The tree tab here shows you the project's complete file tree at this point in time. That's great for opening or restoring historic revisions of a file. And just a quick note on these little arrow icons here and here. This tells you about any unsynced commits, commits that haven't been pushed or pulled yet. Also note that Tower has a so-called auto-fetch feature. It regularly checks in the background if there's new stuff on the remote server. Thereby, you should always be up to date. If you're looking for anything particular, simply use the search feature. You can filter by message, commit hash, author, committer names, and even by file. Just enter the file's complete path and you'll see only the commits that changed this particular file. Let's take a closer look at the sidebar. Try dragging a branch around a bit. You can create a new branch, merge it, publish it on a remote, push it, and this also works for remote branches and tags. You can also check out a different local branch simply by double-clicking it in the sidebar or by choosing the branch in the working copy view. And you see another very helpful feature here, auto-stashing. There are a couple of situations in Git where a clean working copy, so no local changes, is better or even required. Git's stash feature allows you to put your local changes on a clipboard. And Tower makes this easier by automatically offering to do this for you when you pull or merge or check out a branch while having local changes. You find these changes in the stashes section and can inspect or discard them and most importantly, reapply them. Also, it's good to know about the quick actions dialog. Simply hit Command Shift A or use the toolbar button to open it. As long as you haven't entered anything in that dialog, it simply offers some shortcuts to popular views. But the real power shows as soon as you start typing, 
give it a branch name and it will offer to do a checkout. Give it a file name and it will offer to show it in the file history. Or give it a commit hash and it will offer to show this commit's details. You got the idea. It's very flexible and very powerful. I hope this gets you started. We have a great help section that you can reach right from within the app. And we even offer a complete course on learning Git with Tower for free. Enjoy using Tower.